coming out of Haiti. Gangs in that area are trying to overthrow the government there. And that's forced one local group out in Florida to put their work on hold, delivering life-saving supplies. Fox 13 Tampa's Matthew McClellan joining us live this morning with an update. Matthew, good morning to you. You actually just spoke with the group. Gina, good morning. Yeah, and th this group is in a holding pattern. We'll have more from them in just a second. But one human rights expert on Haiti this week saying, look, I've never ever seen it this bad. He says the situation there absolutely catastrophic and this is the reason that we're seeing uh, this nonprofit group, Agape Flights, based out of Venice, about 60 miles to the south of Tampa, delaying a mission supply flight to Haiti that was planned for today, also delaying some flights there that were scheduled for tomorrow. The group helps deliver life-saving medical supplies and food to people in need and its CEO says he reluctantly made this decision to temporarily suspend operations after speaking with a senior official in Haiti's aviation authority. A Agape Flight says considering this week's attacks on Port-au-Prince Airport, as well as the potential for violence at other airport locations, the group will wait to fly until the situation on the ground is more stable. The nonprofit sharing this photo late Wednesday, a group of parents and children who fled the violence in the capital. They have clean clothes, they have food, but missionaries on the ground say there's not a lot to smile about. Even around the country, uh, they're just waiting to see what, what's going to transpire with uh, both the interim prime minister uh, coming back into the country, if he's coming back or not, uh, who's going to be in control. So th there's, a, there's a lot of uh, anticipation as well as tension mounting there uh, because of the unrest and the unanswered questions. The situation continuing to deteriorate with highly organized gangs attacking political targets like police stations and prisons. And on Tuesday, they tried taking over the main airport in the capital. Gang leaders, Gene, now making it clear their ultimate goal is to overthrow the government of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. When this group, Agape Flights, is able to uh, return to their operations, whether they'll be able to resume on, say, Monday or even over the weekend, that remains to be seen. But of course, they're looking out for their teams and their missionary affiliates there in Haiti. They want everybody to be able to stay safe amid all of this uncertainty and unrest and violence. Gina. Matt, just so much going on in the world. I want to ask you, you know, this organization they are familiar with going out in different areas and providing aid, but have they spoken to you about any concerns of safety so that they can get back to their loved ones? Right, so this group, Agape Flights, does not have staff on the grounds. Their operation typically consists of flying in and, at, in and out of these airports uh, to deliver those supplies. So it's, it's really almost like a drop off with these airports being targets right now. In Haiti, also in the Dominican Republic, you're seeing some similar activity. Uh, these groups just are not able to safely land and take off when there's the threat of a plane being ambushed, for example, by the gangs that are targeting these airports. Matt McClellan there with Fox 13 Tampa. Matt, thank you for putting things into perspective. It's always very stellar and detailed reporting. Thank you so much for joining us this morning on Live Now from Fox. You enjoy the rest of your day. Anytime.